What's up guys? So welcome to today's video. We will be doing a side hustle tier list. We will be reviewing all of these side hustles and ranking them to see which is the best and which is the worst. Now the S tier means that it is super duper amazing and you guys should be trying these and the F tier just means it's a fail. Don't do it. So we'll be ranking all of the side hustles according to this S, A, B, C, F tier and let's just get straight into the video. Now please subscribe if you do enjoy this content and let me know what side hustles are you guys doing. He made a couple mil. And just oh. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that much money. Yeah, I think the most I've ever made in a month off of the creator code was like five mil. Jeez. Okay guys, so that was Ninja. Now he's one of the world's biggest gaming streamers and he just said that he made five million dollars in a single month off the creator code, which is basically like affiliate marketing for one of the games. Now that is insane amounts of money and that's just through one source of his income. He, on top of that, he still has people donating him money, people paying him towards subscriptions or just watching his streams and YouTube. So there is a lot of money in gaming. I think because of that, I'm gonna rank gaming quite high on the tier list but the downside of that is that you have to be really good at the game we are looking at one of the best gamers in the world if not best gamer the best entertainer so you have to be really good at one of these things and you have to have the personality for it as well okay so because of that reason i'm gonna give gaming a b tier Okay, so that leads us into our next segment, which is content creation. Now, content creation is quite difficult, but it is an amazing side hustle. The reason why I say it's quite difficult is because there's three ways for you to actually be successful in content creation. You either gotta be really pretty, you gotta be really good at entertaining, or you have to have a lot of value that you can convey over the camera to the audience. If you can nail one of those three things, then yeah, content creation may be just for you. So I didn't nail the first one, but I think I can manage number two and three. There's a lot of money in content creation as well, either through sponsorships or even just through getting monetized on different platforms. These social media platforms pay a lot of money for ad advertisers to actually show their ads on your content. Okay, let's look at a really big YouTuber and how much money he made from one of his videos. So from a single video on YouTube, he made $80,000, which is like 1.5 million Rand. From that, we can see that the pros of content creation is that you can make a lot of money from it. And I'll be honest, it is quite fun since I've been on this path of content creation, but not many people speak about the downsides of it, that, you know, it's a lot of work. There's a lot more that goes into making this video that then you guys actually see. There's the setting up of the lights, the recording, the editing, the scripting, the planning, and all of that, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort that that people don't really see that side of content creation. So because of all of those reasons and the fact that there's no guarantee to you being successful, well, I would argue that. I think, you know, you can actually find success if you're gonna give it the proper dedication that it requires and you're gonna put out proper videos that have quality and value. I think you there is a certain guarantee that you can have, but because of those reasons, I'm gonna give content creation a B tier. All right, let's look at the next one. Finally finishing up my six night twelve hundred dollar house sitting booking with this guy. Okay, so this guy just told us that he made almost twenty four thousand rand for six nights of house sitting. Now, this is a great side hustle if we were in America, but because we're in South Africa, it's not that viable as not many people are looking for strangers to come and watch over their houses while they're away. I think it is a good side hustle if you are in a place where people are actually looking for that kind of stuff. But in South Africa, most people are not gonna really want to hand over their house to a stranger. And because it's not viable at all in South Africa, I'm gonna give it an F tier because it simply can't be done. Okay, next up we have dropshipping. Now, I have spoken about dropshipping on this video where I looked at seven really good side hustles for you to try out, but I'm gonna speak about the actual dark side of dropshipping. Now, in this side hustle, there are three major skills that you would really need to be successful in the side hustle. The first one is finding a winning product. Now, this is much harder than it really sounds because not all products sell, because you would have to find a product that people want and that there is enough 
profit margin on it for you to actually make money. The second skill that is really hard to master that dropshipping requires is creating a website that actually converts traffic into customers. Now, everybody can create a website because there's thousands of tutorials on YouTube that actually show how to make a website, but making a website that actually converts is much harder than it sounds. It comes with a lot of time, a lot of experience, and a lot of research on what actually helps convert people visiting your site into buying the products on your website. And finally, the third skill that dropshipping requires is third-party advertising, like Facebook ads and Instagram ads. Now, once again, these are not easy to learn. Well, anybody can do it because there's thousands of tutorials, but it is hard to actually create ads that actually make people want to go further and actually either buy the product or visit the website. So dropshipping requires these three skills, and if you can master them, I think it's a great side hustle that has so much potential to make you a lot of money, but unfortunately, I don't think it is a beginner-friendly side hustle. So I think it's a great side hustle, but for this tier list, I'm gonna say that it's not beginner-friendly, and for that reason, I'm gonna give it a B tier. But I, just, I do wanna just clarify that if you are experienced and know all of these three things, I think it's an easily an S tier side hustle. But for you beginners, I don't think it's that great. Okay, next up we have the Salsa Grant. Now, this is a very easy side hustle that you can literally go apply for right now and you'll be getting 350 Rand per month every month. Okay guys, I'm just kidding, this was just a joke. The, the reason I put this in this, this tier list is because first of all, it's funny, but second of all, I actually know people that signed up to this thing to get that extra 350 Rand a month, which is not a lot of money, but I don't really support it. So don't do it, but I, I would give the side hustle an S tier. On a real note, guys, there are a lot of people that don't have the finances to actually support their lifestyle and they may need the Sasa grant to actually live and just get their basic needs. So I would say if you guys are taking advantage of that and you don't really need that money, just rethink your life, you know, and see if it's really worth it stealing that money uh, from the people that really need it. All right, guys, so we are halfway through the side hustle tier list. Please do me a favor and subscribe if you'd enjoy this content and uh, let's get back to the list. Next up, we have promotional work. Now, this involves promoting goods or services at events, malls, trade shows, or even through digital marketing campaigns. How this works is through an agency. Now, this agency reps certain brands and they will basically pay you to be an ambassador for that brand. One of my friends worked for an agency that was in charge of the Mercedes booth at the Festival of Motoring. Now, they paid him 1,200 Rand per day for 12 hours of work. Now, that equates to about 100 Rand per hour and he did it for two days so that was 2400 rand for the weekend for a beginner or a starting up side hustle i think it's a great way to just get some startup capital that can then be used to fund up another side hustle the one downside of the side hustle was this agency similar to modeling agencies took over two months to pay him that fee now that is a long time to wait for just 2400 rand so i don't know if it's that viable mainly due to the fact that they take so long to pay out such a small amount i'm going to give this side hustle a b rating all right let's head to our next one next up we have car detailing now this is a great side hustle and basically involves the cleaning restoration and finishing of a vehicle to basically produce it to a show quality condition okay the one good aspect of the side hustle is that you don't have to do the cleaning yourself you can always get other people to help you and pay them for their work the downside however is the crazy startup costs that is involved with the side hustle you would have to need a buffer you would need to have a pressure washer you would need to have vacuum cleaners the proper cleaning chemicals and all of those kind of things and that does add up to a lot of money to actually start off the side hustle but once that's done actually marketing the side hustle to the correct clientele could get you a lot of good business and you could make a lot of money from it i actually know somebody doing this and they're making a lot of money every single month through the side hustle obviously they've now made it their main hustle where they actually have a car wash location but this is how they started off even though i think this is a great side hustle to make a lot of money due to the high startup costs i'm going to put the side hustle in tier c at number 11, we have tutoring. Now, I have mentioned tutoring in a previous video, but I think this is a great side hustle if you have a brain. Unfortunately, if you didn't do that great in school and you don't really know your work, please don't go down the tutoring path unless you're gonna actually hire tutors to actually do the work. Now, I did speak about this once again on the other video, but basically you can just pay tutors as a freelancer. Basically pay them for the lessons that they do. So as the parent or the student pays you for the lessons, 
person you pay the tutor for their work now i think this is an amazing side hustle because due to the teachers that are in south africa there's definitely a need for it and i think parents are always looking for extra help for their children just to overall better their grades so because of the fact that you don't really have any startup costs but the scalability of this is very high i'm going to put tutoring in the s tier it is our first S tier side hustle, but that's just because it is that great. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it in the other video, but I actually do this myself. I have a company where we have tutors that we literally just hire out to parents. Um, and obviously now I started it myself. I tutored maths, physics, and all of these other subjects, but I started it myself and now I scaled it to that point. But I think it's actually a great side hustle for you to look into. Let's head to the next one. Next up, we have transcribing. Now, transcribers convert audio or video recordings into text format. This basically helps companies with their subtitles, their captions, and overall just reports of their videos. Now, this was a very good side hustle a few years ago, but I don't think it's viable anymore due to the advancements in AI. Now, there's so many AIs out there that are literally doing this in seconds and without any errors. So I think that this side hustle is no longer viable, especially in South Africa, because people are hopping onto this whole AI trend. For that reason, I'm going to put it in the F tier. At number 13, we have marketplace selling. Now, I'm going to tell you straight off the bat that this is my favorite side hustle. I think that there is so much potential with the side hustle, especially in South Africa and especially with Amazon coming. If you haven't heard about that, I actually made a short video. You can go check it out. It basically explains the process of how to sign up as a seller right now so that when the marketplace officially launches, you'll be able to sign up and basically get your products onto their platform. Now, the beauty of marketplace selling is doing it in a wholesale method not through lead time orders or the drop shipping model basically what i'm saying is buy a bunch of products drop it off at the warehouse of whatever marketplace you're working with and sell the products that way don't use the model where you wait for somebody to buy a product then you drop off products one at a time what i'd actually recommend is for you to use another side hustle on this list to save up some capital for you to then find a product and then buy a product and then drop it off at the warehouse the reason why i think this is such a great model is because online e-commerce is absolutely popping off right now everybody is buying things online and the online space is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger so you shouldn't be sleeping on it you should take advantage of this opportunity while there is still an opportunity so because of those reasons i'm going to give this a straight up s tier because it is arguably one of the best side hustles someone can do in south africa if you remember what i spoke about drop shipping earlier those three main skills that you need you don't really need it for this the only skill that you really need to sell on the marketplace outside of having capital which is not really a skill is just finding a winning product. Now, if you are able to find a product, whether it be international, local, at a China mall or whatever, you will then be able to list this product on the marketplace of whatever you choose and sell the product. It's as easy as that. You don't have to work with customers. You don't have to think about logistics. You don't have to think about all of these other problems. Yes, there's a lot of fees attached to it, but overall, because everything's really taken care for you, there's I think the fees are really worth it. Anyways, let's move on to the next one because this was definitely an S tier. We're going to be using the WAG app to walk the dog today to see how much money we can make within 60 minutes. We received a total of $26.50, which comes out to be about $13.59 per hour. Which basically comes out to a Chipotle burrito per hour. All right, so this guy just said that he made $13 per hour. So that's about 260 rand an hour or 500 rand for a two hour session. Now, I would love if this side hustle was viable in South Africa because I would definitely be doing it. It looks so fun, but unfortunately it isn't. I don't think South Africans are that open to just giving their dogs to strangers to just let them walk it around everywhere. Now, in certain areas or suburbs, I think that this might be viable, but I think most of South Africa is not gonna be open to this whole idea. So. I don't think this is a viable option in South Africa, even though this looks really fun and it looks like it could make you a decent bit of money. I'm going to put this in the F tier simply because it's just not viable in South Africa. Second last, we have Forex. Now, I personally did try Forex out myself, and this is mainly because I saw all of these Instagram gurus and all of these guys on the internet just show how much money they've made from it. So 19 year old me thought it was a great idea to go into it. So I saved up like a thousand Rand or 2000 Rand and I started learning Forex. Now, for an analytical person like myself, I thought it was quite fun learning how these graphs works, how the market works, and how overall just the 
concept of trade in forex works but for most people i don't think it will be that way now when i first started it was very easy to make money but at the same time very easy to lose it as well i remember one day i turned that thousand rand into ten thousand rand and the next day i literally lost all of it um and that's simply because of the volatility of the market that simply means just the market just keeps moving around very quickly so it's hard to predict where it's really gonna go now I think Forex is a great side hustle if you're going to put time into it and actually study the charts, study the patterns, use the different indicators and just overall learn how Forex works. After that initial time that I tried it, I did try it out a few more times and I did get to the point where I learned how it works and it did work out for me. But at the same time, there was always losses that came. So I just don't like the roller coaster vibe that it gives where you can have a great day and an absolutely terrible day. So that's the main reason why I no longer do it. Forex is no walk in the park honestly it takes thousands of hours for you to actually learn the market how it works and obviously get good at better in your trades now for that reason i don't think many people are willing to put that much time into a side hustle to only then reap the rewards at a later stage while losing a lot of money getting to that point for that reason i'm gonna put forex in a c tier and the other reason i'm putting it in this tier is because of all of the false perspectives that people bring across social media for the side hustle a lot of people sell you the lifestyle but that's not how forex always is uh, a lot of these guys end up relying on just making money through their signals or through their courses instead of actually doing it through forex themselves so i'll say just be careful for that don't try and find an easy way out if you want to learn it learn it and do it properly but otherwise choose another side so let's do the last one to make one thousand dollars per month using job servicing you only need to sell one type of service and find one client per month the service that we are going to sell is social media videos and this will cost between one thousand Okay, so basically what this lady is explaining is the concept of drop servicing. Now, I did speak about this concept on the other video as well, but I think it's a great business model because it's you basically outsourcing work or services to somebody else while selling the service yourself. So for example, I'm, I think she's going to go down the social media marketing aspect where she will then try and find the client and basically give that work to somebody else and take the difference in the profits. Now this is a great, great side hustle because there's not much risk involved except for you setting up the business and just overall marketing it. If you can get through that first aspect of marketing the business correctly, finding a proper freelancer to do the service that you want to fulfill and finding clients, this is a great side hustle i've done it myself and you can make a lot of money doing the side hustle so for those reasons i'm going to put this side hustle in the s tier because it's simply an amazing side hustle there's so much of scalability in it as well and you can even just overall scale to a proper agency once you start getting enough clientele that you set up on monthly retainers so from this video we see that we have three s tier side hustles these are the top three that i think are the best for south africans to try that is namely marketplace selling tutoring as well as now drop servicing so if you guys want to start a side hustle i'd recommend those three but obviously you can choose any of the side hustles on this list or make up your own so if you guys are doing any other side hustles that were not mentioned here let me know in the comment section below how that's going for you and if you've tried any of these side hustles thanks for checking out the video please subscribe if you enjoyed the content and check out this video on four business ideas where i took some of these side hustles and show you how you can make a full business from it stay blessed